Hi 103. In this video, I'm going to use the net from homework 12 of the dodecahedron. Dodecahedron meaning 12-sided. Uh, okay, so 12-sided. And I'm using this net to construct the dodecahedron itself. So uh, what I did is I cut out along all of the solid edges and then I pre-folded along every one of the dotted edges. So go ahead and do that before you get started watching the video so you can kind of keep up as I go. Um, you'll notice that I've done a little bit more than just cutting and folding here. I labeled all of the sides 1 through 12 so that um, I could reference particular sides and actually show you that there are really 12 faces to this figure. Each of the faces, I'll just zoom in on one here, each of the faces of this figure are pentagons. Okay, they are pentagons, so a five-sided figure, and all of those edges are the same. So this is actually a regular pentagon. Why my camera won't let me show you just one of these. Right, so here's pentagon number 10. I've also labeled all of the angle measures. In a regular pentagon, each of these angles is 108 degrees. So I've labeled that on all 12 faces. Right, so it becomes kind of tedious, right? Now we're talking about 60 different times I'm writing 108 degrees. It really is worth it, um, in my opinion, because you'll be able to see once it's constructed how to very quickly calculate the internal angle sum. Okay, so the big deal here is that anywhere you see the words glue under, that means that that little tab needs to hide under the adjacent side or adjacent face, right? That's all that means. So I'm looking at half of the net and it's centered around just one of these pentagons and so I'm just going to use that as kind of a base and I'm going to start folding up different sides here and anywhere I see glue under I'm just tucking that piece under and putting a piece of tape over uh, that edge that joins them there so I got a little piece of tape here so I taped together two pieces here there was a glue under tab on one of these and I just folded it under and glued it. Hold it under. Oh, I taped it. All right, I'm doing this with the next one now. Right? So if I see the words glue under, it means I need to fold that tab under and put a piece of tape over that edge. Oops, I just put a piece of tape. This. Oh, piece of tape over that edge. All right, just to hold it in place. All right, so I'm going to keep going with that. And I'm going to finish the bottom part of this dodecahedron just by gluing and folding, gluing and folding. Do the same. So by doing this systematically and going maybe clockwise or counterclockwise, but following a particular pattern, you can get the bottom bowl, it looks like a little bowl, filled in here, all taped together, it looks kinda nice. You can do the same thing um, using the other side. In the other half of them, so here's the bowl that I already constructed, here's the second bowl that I'm going to construct on this side. All right, and I'm just following that same procedure. I'm gluing under. This is before I try to stack them on top of each other. Okay, I'm just doing these little sides together. Of course, you can do them in any order that allows you to um, get all your glue under tabs glued under okay, or taped under, as the case may be. So I'm just going in systematic order to get these all folded down. And if you're watching uh, the whole series of videos here, you're probably noticing that they're getting a little bit longer every time, and that's just because there's more tabs to glue under here. But really, the same procedure every time. Cut, fold, label, tape, and then calculate the internal angle sum. Now we do, we calculate that internal angle sum to verify that it is in fact under 360 degrees, because at 360 degrees, um, our figure lays flat which we don't want. We're trying to construct these nice three-dimensional shapes. Now, when you go to fold the bowl together, or the two bowls together, 
it needs to fit together so that it creates what kind of looks like, oh, what kind of looks like a soccer ball. Right? So I'm just folding under all these glue under tabs, and then I'm gonna tape them in just a minute. But once you get one piece of tape on there, it gets a little bit easier. And then giving yourself a little bit of structure. So I'm gonna get one little piece of tape here. Now in making these videos, one thing I did notice is that you can just count ahead of time the number of glue under strips that are on the figure and get that many pieces of tape ready. And for me, that's helped a lot. It's not difficult, it's just a little bit tedious trying to get all these little fold under tabs ready to go. And so I'm just fold, again, folding under, folding under, as many tabs as I can. I'm putting some tape or in your case maybe some glue on there, whatever you think is easiest. All right, so again at this point I'm just attaching the top bowl and the bottom bowl. I'm calling them bowls, but really they're just halves of the dodecahedron. So it might take a little doing here, but you can absolutely um, get this figure on your own. Now this is again called a dodecahedron because it has 12, 12 different faces that come together to create this figure. And each of those 12 faces are a pentagon whose um, edges are all the same. So it's actually a regular pentagon. And each of the angles on every one of these um, where two edges meet is going to be 108 degrees. So what we can do is we can look at any vertex. They're all the same. Okay. We can look at any vertex here and we can calculate the internal angle sum. So I'll just show you one. This is the 5, 6, 12 uh, vertex. So this is where these three sides are meeting. And you can see that because three different pentagons are here meeting, all we have to do is add up the angles that meet there at that vertex, so this vertex. So I'm adding up 108, 108, and 108 here. So 108 plus 108 plus 108 is 324 degrees. So the internal angle sum at a vertex of the dodecahedron, any one of these vertices, is 324 degrees.